More and more motorcycles are on the road today. But the sad part is, people don't notice it. And that's a real problem. But the thing is, is that motorcycles are harder to see. You can't tell how fast they're going sometimes. You can't see if they're in your blind spot. And it's hard to judge how fast they're going and whether you have enough time to pull out in front of them. So as you're, if you're a motorcycle driver, then you have to take extra precautions to be safe in those situations where people can't see you. I started driving about a year ago and I fully understand now some of the safety factors that are involved in riding a motorcycle on today's highways. I mean my body's fully exposed when I'm out there so I'm going to take whatever steps I have to take to protect myself and the main thing that I see is that I need to wear a helmet. It's the only way to protect a major part of my body in case somebody does not see me. Because if a car contacts a motorcycle, it's not likely going to result in a fender bender it made to the car, but that motorcycle is likely going to go down, which causes significant injuries to the driver. So wearing a helmet is key. So as I looked into the helmet laws that are currently on the books, and just so you know, there's a helmet law in Missouri, but not in Illinois. You're free to ride in Illinois without a helmet. But in Missouri, I thought there was a severe punishment if you didn't wear one. But what I actually found out was it's not. It's kind of like a seatbelt ticket. There's up to a $25 fine, there's no points assessed, and there's no court costs. So I really wonder how much incentive there is not to, to wear a helmet. I actually saw somebody this weekend when I rode that had a little probably four or five year old kid on the front of the bike and they didn't have helmets on and they were going down Highway 94 in, down by Herman, Missouri. I just can't imagine doing that. So I always wear a helmet. But I wanted to show you today a couple of the different types of helmets. I have both and there are certain times I wear one, certain times I wear the other. This helmet here is a full face helmet. It's one that I wear when I'm on the highway or whenever I'm going long distance. It's basically designed to protect your entire head, your face, keeps rocks out of your eyes, anything like that, and protects you from the elements. If I go and I fall off my motorcycle, this will give me the best protection for my head. Now the other type of helmet is just what we call a lid, and that's this kind. As you can see, it's a lot less than the full face helmet. It only protects the top of your head. I really only wear this one if I'm going short distances on side streets, say to the store, to the gym, or something like that. And it still makes me a little nervous just having this one on because even if a motorcycle crashes going 10 miles an hour, you could really do some damage. Because your brain and your head is the major part of your body you want to protect, anytime you ride a motorcycle, you should consider wearing a helmet. Before you talk to any lawyer, sign any forms, or speak with the insurance adjuster, you want to read a copy of my book. Visit our website or call 314-344-0800 to get your free copy today.